Hi there, this is Gary Ryan Blair with a great little message titled, Behavior Never Lies. Practice what you preach. Do as you say. Walk the talk and action speak louder than words. They're all derivatives of what I believe are the three most important words in your life. And that is, behavior never lies. Now let me make this one real simple. What you do is who you are. So allow me to explain. See, if there's ever a discrepancy between what someone says and what someone does, always, and I mean always, focus on their actions. Why is that? Well, once again, three words. Behavior never lies. See, when a person's words and behaviors are not in sync, the result will always be fraud, hypocritical behavior. And the disconnect between what people say versus what they actually do, well, it steals trust, it sends mixed messages, it distorts reality, it undermines communication, and it creates doubt. It negatively impacts all parties, both the giver and the receiver. And the challenge that we all face during our lifetime is to balance a spoken word with our actions. See, when spoken words and demonstrated behaviors are not in alignment, one will feel confusion, frustration, and disappointment. And while words may attempt to explain, it's behavior that defines the real message that you're sending. Now, I can tell you this with complete confidence. By examining your behavior, I could see a clear picture of your commitment. I could gain an innate sense of your character. I can grasp a near-perfect understanding of your beliefs. And I can most certainly see what you're really made of. So your behavior is a reflection of what you believe to be true about yourself. Your behavior tells me how you think. Your behavior tells me how you talk about yourself, even when no one's around. Your behavior tells me what you do or do not do every single day. And the real essence of truth, of who you really are, will never be found in what you say, but only by what you do. So once again, what you do is who you are. So let me give you a few examples. When you say that you're a professional and eager for new opportunities, but you show up late and unprepared, well, your behavior rats you out. And when you say that you love someone, but you do not demonstrate that love through your actions, well, this behavior creates doubt and sends the message that your words are absolutely hollow. When you say that you value and believe in good health, but you dine on junk food and do not exercise, well, your behavior exposes you as a fraud. When you say one thing to your employees or your children, but you act in a totally different manner. Your behavior screams hypocrisy. And when mission statements and service creeds extol excellence, great value, and customer devotion, which your behavior demonstrates apathy and mediocrity, your customers look at you and your company as a joke. So here's a mathematical perspective on the relationship between words and actions. The values and philosophies is what we say, plus policies and practices are what we do. And that, that equals the results and perceptions. Or another way of saying that is that's what we get. So your results are everything. If you're not pleased with your results, and if the perception that you've created is not the one that you find desirous, then you better get to work on making sure that your behavior is in harmony with your words. There's absolutely no other way to close this perception gap. See, the real power and influence of an organization's leaders, of parents raising children, and of any person who wants to initiate change comes down to their ability to walk their talk, to ensure that there's an absence of contradiction between what they say and what they actually do. It's the shortest journey to empower change, the office culture, and the environment in your own home. So let me provide you with a five-point plan for living a life that's absent of contradictions. The first, you must model a behavior that you want to see practiced by others. There is nothing more powerful for people to experience than observing you demonstrate the actions and the behaviors they are requesting from others. As Mahatma Gandhi has said, become the change you wish to see in the world. Number two in our five-point plan is if you make a rule or design a process, you must follow it to the letter. Why would anyone be inclined to follow the rules if the rule makers don't do it? Number three, you need to reward and celebrate the behaviors you want demonstrated. That means inspire, hold up, and publicly acknowledge the virtuous behavior that you want to see repeated and reinforced. And number four, do what you say you're going to do. And most importantly, do it immediately. Don't make rash promises that you can't keep. People want to trust you and your leadership. Therefore, always demonstrate initiative and personal responsibility. And number five on our five-point plan is to honor your commitments, keep your promises, and to actively practice what you preach. See, with these five steps as a guide, you'll be prepared to live a life where you're free to reach a place where confusion, 
contradiction and hypocrisy no longer define who you are. 